Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Oracle Database Administration Workshop. So in this workshop, we are going to see it, uh, 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 in this model, we are going to see it uh, on the preparing our uh, environment. So preparing our environment in the sense, we are going to install our ASM and then we are going to install our Oracle Home and then on top of our Oracle Home, we are going to install my database. So in order to install my ASM, Oracle Home and Oracle Database, I need to prepare my Linux system first. So for that, I'm going to uh, go into my Oracle uh, Virtual Manager and I'm going to click on this new and I'm going to browse my where you want to install your uh, Linux server. I'm going to go into uh, C drive or, uh, or the desktop, wherever you want, like wherever you want to go, you can go to that particular location and uh, and create a directory and call like Oracle 12C and then click on that and then select that folder and give any name Oracle 12C whatever name you can give and give whatever name you want to uh, whatever directory you want desktop or C drive or D drive and click on next and allocate the memory I'm going to allocate 4 GB that is uh, 4096 and then go next and then create a virtual machine and then select this VDI virtual disk image and then allocate you select this dynamically allocate the space and then give this this path it will take automatically and then give 30 GB as a space and then click continue like it will create a virtual box here and then click on the settings and then you can verify it this is about 12c name and advanced setting you can go and you can click this bi-directional and then go to description just leave it blank and system you can fluffy disk you disable it and bring it down you make it optical and hard disk both you can select here and go to processor and make two processor and then leave it as it is rest of the things and this one you can leave it as it is and image you can leave it and this one uh, you can you come to adapter and you can make it bridge adapter adapter one go to adapter to enable it you can make it bridge adapter and go to adapter three and make it NAT adapter and this is a default network setting you can do it and that's it you just click on ok and then this, this setting is done and then you just launch it and then once it uh, launch you can you can select your uh, image it will it will ask you to select the image copy and then you know you can select uh, whatever the ISO image you downloaded Linux 5 or Linux 6 or Linux 8 or Linux 9 whatever then you can select it and then uh, it will start your uh, installation you can see you can see this installation media and then click enter and then you can skip this one click ok ok click on next and in select English language and keyboard select as the English and go for basic device and discard any data just format it and give the host name as oracle tool local domain dot com and click next and select the timeline wherever you are uh, you can select asia kolkata go next and then give the password whatever the default password and then click next and then create this last option create a custom layout click next and then you can see 30 gb space here and create a partition i'll go with the standard partition and create it and then i'll go with the first swap swap should be double of your ram like 4 gb ram it's going to be approximately 8 gb so I'll get, I'll just give 8000 MB and then I'll create a one more partition, standard partition and then I'll go with a boot and I'll go with a boot 1000 uh, MB, click OK and rest of the things, uh, create new partition, standard partition and I'll go with rest of the space to root file system and then I'll go fill up to the maximum available space and that's it and then click, uh, you know, next. Right, you can see the format partition it is asking, format it and then write changes to the disk. Yeah, it's formatting all the disks, it's formatted now and then click next and then uh, it will ask you to uh, what type of uh, installation you want. I want installation as a desktop mode, right? You can create a desktop mode and then custom now and then click near, click next and then here in this right, uh, go to servers and then you know you can in in the servers you, you just check whatever the rpm you want to install like system administrative tool or this one okay nothing i want to install it here i'll go to the uh, develop desktop and then you know i x window is already selected here and i'll go to development libraries if you want anything like additional developments and development tools 
and if i go to the applications and then if i go to uh, you know system management if you want to install anything here if i go to database you know if you want to install any rpm related to mysql postgresql you know you, you can install it i'm just uh, giving you op options like what all you can install in this right so if i go to the servers uh, you can see here right server platform or uh, anything like nfs related rpm you want to install like system administrative tool you want to install and in especially in server platform if you can go to up, uh, the optional package if you want to install this one you can install it like you know these are like different option i wanted to explore it here and you go to the base system here and then in, in the base system you can you can come down and one of the important package i wanted to install here uh you know where is that let me see it whether i can find it here base pack okay if i go inside base pack okay if i go oracle if i search oracle okay nothing is here okay fine so then okay so i think that's all with the with rpm package your consideration then go with, go ahead with the next now you can see 1300 rpms it's going to install all the 1300 rpms it like a bit a uh, bit a uh, quite time and at the mean time you know we will parallelly try to create uh, uh one of the disk so to create that disk you can go to virtual you can go to file and then go to virtual uh, media manager and then you, know, you can create or add like create this disk here and create a vdi disk image and then you know uh, dynamic allocation you can instead of dynamic allocation you can go to fixed size and then you know uh, you you can give any path you can you can give any path uh, wherever you kept your oracle 12c in the in the same directory you can create uh, like you can name it as a disk disk 1 and then save that file and you can give uh, up to 30 gb of the disk size and then it's going to create a 30 db uh, disk that we can use it for uh, asm so these are two mandatory steps one is you need to install your linux host and one is one is you need to create a 30 gb disk uh, disk size so right? this 30 gb disk is created here right disk 1 and then if i go back to my installation so it's still going on what you can do meantime uh, you, you can attach that disk to uh, this particular uh, image you can go to this one uh, and then go to the storage and then okay it is not it is it not allow you need to shut down that in order to attach that disk anyway this installation get it complete okay so you can see here right all the packages 1300 packages are all installed so it is going to reboot in a minute Yep, it is asking for the reboot. I'll go ahead and reboot the server. All right, we got the welcome screen. Click forward. Yes, license agreement. Click on yes. Forward and forward, and you know you can just uh, uh, forward it, or you can if you want to register it, you can register it. Uh, just just forward. Advanced configuration setting, and you you don't want to do this one. or else I'll, i'll go back and i'll i don't want to register it for the software update i will just click on no i don't want to register i'll forward it and you know no thanks i'll connect it later go on forward and any you want to create any users no you don't want to create just continue yes continue and the time tramp and all you can select and just continue and then just finish it here you go so we got a welcome screen You just click on this one and create an user root and log in as a root user. Root user. Yep, you can see right. Don't show this message again. Click on that, and you are into the server now. You can open your terminal. and we'll start the installation so that is simple uh, your linux installation okay now we will
close this one and in order to attach that disk right so now we'll close this one and uh, we'll attach that disk now whatever 30 db disk whatever we created yeah this is a 30 db disk right so we'll attach it here and then click ok and now we'll start our server Right, I'll log in as a root. Password, okay. Cancel it. Username root. Now we are into the server. So now we'll start with our ASM, Oracle Home and database creation. So this is all about your installation of your Linux and how you can attach the disk to the Linux. So thank you.